What's going on guys, Orza here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have got another Icon Moments card to review today and it is going to be Del Piero. That sounds really weird to me because I don't usually call him Del Piero. I always call him Del P and that's something I've called him for the past like two to three years to be fair. So if you hear me say Del P during like the gameplay and all, just know I'm referring to Del Piero. Either way, he's got 85 pace, 94 dribbling, 94 shooting, 92 passing with a 69 physicals as well. Well, physical wise not looking the greatest but it's something you are going to have to deal with now he is a five foot nine player high medium work rates four star skill moves and a five star weak foot now that right there is looking pretty decent now when it comes down to the chem style for the card it is going to be the engine chem style the engine chem style for him is so perfect it's ridiculous like it's giving him the extra pace which he clearly does need but also giving this guy the extra dribbling stats dribbling stats sorry that he clearly does need like going from 67 balance to 77 balance is going to make a huge difference to his dribbling ability but look at a passing ability we all know this guy right here he can play in that cam position and you want a player that plays in that cam position to have a clinical pass or a consistent pass let's say so with him with the long passing you are giving this guy an extra plus five long passing with the engine chem style giving him 88 like going from 83 to 88 is going to make the biggest of difference so yeah i would definitely say the engine chem style is perfect for him either way he has got 91 acceleration and 89 sprint speed which is very good for a cam shooting ability he has got 96 attacking positioning 97 finishing 90 shot power 93 long shots 88 volleys with the 99 penalties while also having the finesse shot trait imagine having those shooting shooting stats while also having the finesse shot trait I'm hoping he's clinical in front of that goal. Now, his passing ability, he has got 99 vision, 99 crossing, 99 freaky accuracy, 97 short passing, 88 long passing with a 99 curve as well. For a person that is most likely going to play in that cam position most of the time, you want a player that can pass consistently. And especially someone that has a five-star weak foot with those passing stats, you know it's going to happen. Now, his dribbling ability, he has got 91 agility, 77 balance 91 reactions 97 ball control 99 dribbling with a 95 composure as well dribbling stats look unreal kind of worried a little bit for the balance but we'll see how it goes and when it comes down to the physicals 84 stamina is a little bit scary let's say especially playing him in a cam position it's gonna be like is he gonna last for the whole 90 whole 90 minutes is he gonna do it is he not gonna do it that's something that we're gonna have to find out he has got 67 strength with the 60 aggression so when it comes down to shielding players, it's not going to happen. We all know it's not going to happen. He is going to be one of those players that is going to be getting bodied off the ball. Now, when it comes down to the links, he's an icon. He links up with whoever you want. But I have personally gone for Curtis Jones, Mason Mount, Aguero, and your boy Son. Now, obviously, you know, we could maybe get this guy on. But let's push him to a side for now. We've been overusing Deco. Like, there's no tomorrow in pretty much every single review to get people on chemistry. So, let's make him have a break onto that reserves, and we'll probably get him into the next one. Either way, the position that I will be trying Del P in, it is going to be a 4-4-2 in that striker position. But 100%, I'm going to try him in that cam position in a 4-2-3-1. But let's get into the games. So, we are starting off Del P in a cam position, and we're going to see how he kind of moves around the pitch. Like, right there, he makes some decent movement. See if I can maybe give this ball to Aguero. Can we get our first assist? We are going to get our first assist. Now, the real question is, is this guy going to rage quit at 1-0? Let me skip the replay. Is he going to do it? Why is the game not pausing? What, what's happening here? The game is just... Ca oh, he, let, he ended up just turning the Xbox off or just dashboarding. Okay, more understandable. Good pass to Aguero. Really good back heel. See if I can maybe thread the needle. He does it perfectly. Going to give him back the ball. Through the middle, hill to hill, get the angle towards the near post, and we are gonna get the finish. What a pass to thread the like, thread it straight through two players, and a little pass back back to him, hill to hill, to get the angle and really good finish. Maybe I can pass this up. Oh, he makes that movement. No, we just aren't going to get the ball. I like how he moves into the spaces that he clearly sees is like wide open. He's not one of those cams that just sits back and consistently gives me passing options. No, he will actually make the run if he sees it wide open. Double way. Well played. See if I can maybe go for an over top through ball and it is going to be a spot on pass. Those kind of passes I'm expecting, I'm expecting him to do every day of the week. It's a good turn. Really good turn. Bro, look how he feels on the ball. 
through the middle. Oh my, keep going. He keeps it nice and close and that's something you do want to see. Can I get that around the corner? I can. Well played. Keep going. No, I did a hill to hill, but I didn't actually do it. If the hill to hill works there, I reckon we've got a goal. Mount, give it to Del P here. Use that pace to just get in behind that player. Well played. That was not even an LBA, by the way. That was just him literally just making that run by himself. Bro, he sh Hold up. He uses his body a lot to kind of shield off players. It, I can already tell he's going to be one of those players that is going to be so hard to get the ball off. Like, look at this. I'm literally spinning players inside out, and we just couldn't get a little bit lucky there to get that ball back. Good ball roll. Give it. Oh, you know what? I'm going to hit it first time. I'm telling you, bro. This guy's passing ability is so nice. Let's give him there. Fake shot. Maybe I can turn the player. Fake shot down. He's done well. Go for the finesse shot and it's going to hit Mahrez's head. Oh my. Good dummy. Hill the hill going up. I'm going to go for it. Power shot. He actually hits it with the other foot, which is very awkward to be fair because they don't really do that very often. They do it when they have the outside foot shot trait. But for me, I thought he was going to just smack it onto that left foot. But hey, I'll take the goal. Pass it down line. Well played. Del P, he's going to make that movement. He gets stopped while he continues going. Keep going. All the way down. Well played. Again. In front of the guy. Go for a finesse shot. It's going to be a hard angle, but this is the thing. Del P's got that finesse shot trait. So those hard angles aren't really hard angles for him. And look at the finish. Side netting. Keeper has no chance. Morris, pass up. Give it to Aguero. One more to Del P. Fake shot towards the outside. Beautiful football. And Del P just making that run just to give me that extra support was perfect. Son, running down the line. Going to see if I can maybe pass that into the inside. Give it to back to Del P. Keep going. I want to get like a direct. That's perfect. That's exactly what I was going for. And we are going to get the finish. I wanted to kind of like bait. I think it was Rio Ferdinand into thinking I was just going to stand still. And then I get that directional nutmeg to get that acceleration and just go straight through the gap. And after that, there was no stopping my boy Del P. And, you know, the finesse shot going straight into the corner. The keeper, I don't even think dived, did he? I think he just went to the ground. I was like, yep, let me just allow that to go into the corner. <laughs> Down. Give it straight to Aguero's feet. Pass it back. Give it to him there. Can I get that fake shot? I can. Maybe I can get... Oh, hold up. No, surely. No, did he actually get a little touch that? No way. I thought Del P kept that ball so close to his feet where he was just dribbling inside out of players. Like, come on. How we didn't get a penalty as well? Aguero. Oh, I see it. Oh, that's such a good run. Ball roll. No, I just couldn't get onto it. This is the thing, right? When I try to get him in behind or he makes those runs by himself, sometimes, you know, the pace, you can clearly see it come into play. Knowing that if someone like Aguero was getting in behind there, he would be catching up to it. But because Del P hasn't got the greatest pace to his game, he does miss out on some balls. And that was a pretty good direction of nutmeg and a pretty good pass across, to be fair. He's going to make that movement down. That's perfect. That's a really good touch in between those two players. We couldn't get the ball roll. We really couldn't get the ball roll. Like, come on. I love his composure, though. Like, even when he's under pressure by, like, three opponents, he still keeps calm and takes a really good touch in between the players. Maybe I can get this around the corner. Oh, my God. Look at that. No. No. <gasps> Oh, if we scored that, I'm telling you, this directional nutmeg skill move is so broken. It gives players, like, instant acceleration. And then you, did you see how fast LP actually run there? Like, if I run in a straight line just to the left, trust me, boys, he's not running that fast. Like, look at it. But as soon as I do something like a directional nutmeg, gone. I just gone. So it is time to review and we ended up playing three games with Del P. We scored five goals and we even got ourselves two cheeky assists as well. But boys, I must admit, I didn't end up playing this guy in a striker position. And the reason I didn't play him there was because he was so good in a cam position in a 4-2-3-1 formation. The movement this guy was giving me was unreal. Like absolutely unreal. Like it wasn't a super aggressive kind of movement, but it wasn't him consistently coming short. No, it had like a really nice balance of him coming short and if he sees the gaps wide open going forward he 
would run into it. Like, it was literally spot on. And I knew in that striker position, he wasn't going to be outrageously good there. Simply because of that pace. 91 acceleration and 89 sprint speed simply is not good enough in this game for a striker and we all know it because the meta is literally putting fullbacks in a center back position so we are matching players like Tavernier we're matching players like Mbabu in that center back position and Del Piero just isn't fast enough to you're gonna you know like kind of outpace those players so in that striker position he really isn't gonna work that well so for me cam position boys is definitely the way to go but let's talk about the pricing EA this is the third time I'm saying this, by the way. I've done this for the moments Dol Glitch. I've done this for the moments SEN. And now it's for moments Del P. 500, then 80k, he is going for in the market. 780k, he's going for as an SBC. But, like, what is this? Why are you putting them play putting these players 200k more? Like, then how much he's going for in the market? Like, what is the point? I understand. I understand. Team of Season's just around the corner. The, the plays are going to drop down in price when it comes down to the market. But still, like, come on, EA. Like, please. Like, don't sit there and give us a, an SBC that is 200k more than what he is going for in the market. It just simply doesn't make sense saying that if we do this card, it's going to be an untradeable card. It's not like we can go ahead and just sell him on the market. No, it's going to be an untradeable card that we stick in our team for a very long time. So him going for 200k more than what he's going on the market just simply does not make sense. So do I believe it's worth doing this card? I don't. If he drops down during team of the season, that's when he's going to become worth it. But let's get straight into the rating. Things. pace wise i am going to give his pace i would say like an eight point i'll probably say like an 8.7 8.8 out of 10 as i said it was not bad at all it's just it's not like extremely up there you know it's not like a player that's gonna outpace like a clusterman it's not gonna happen shooting ability though he had a nice shot like a very very nice shot the finesse shot trait as well was so perfect so for shooting i am gonna give this guy i'll probably say i will probably say like a 9.5, 9.6 out of 10. If that shot power was like a little bit more higher, we're talking about like a 95, 96 shot power. That's what that's when I would go higher. But for now, we're going to keep at a reasonable level. Passing ability, he had a very nice pass to his game. Not as good as like a Bruno Fernandes kind of pass, but he had a very nice pass. So I am going to give him, I'll probably say, I'll probably say like a 9.3. A 9.3 out of 10. He 100% deserves it, especially for a player that has got that five-star weak foot. It just gives it just gives me that ability to pass with either foot, and you know it's going to get there. So moving on, we are going to see the dribbling. Dribbling felt very good. I thought it was going to feel a little bit questionable because of the balance, but it really didn't. He was so composed when he was under pressure. That ball control, oh my God as well. That He, he literally stuck to his feet. So for dribbling, I am going to give him I'll honestly say, I'll probably say like a 9.4. A 9.4 out of 10 for the dribbling. It was unreal. And moving over to the physicals, I mean, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Because this guy's got, I believe it's a unique body type. It looks like he's stronger than he actually is. Like he was getting in front of players and kind of shielding them off for a decent amount of time. But you know for a fact, if he comes up against someone like a Virgil van Dijk, someone like a, a What If Smalling, or someone even like a Boateng, you know the guy's going to get bodied. You already know it's going to happen. So for physicals, I am going to give him, I'll probably say... I'll probably say like a 7.5, 7.6 out of 10. I don't want to go too high. By the way, stamina is enough. And that was always going to be a great thing to know because 84 stamina is a little bit questionable, but it all depends on how he moves in game. If he's like a super aggressive cam, you use way more stamina, but he's not. So 84 stamina is going to be enough. But an overall rating out of 10, boys, I am going to give this card, I would honestly say, I'll probably say like a 9. Point I want to give him like a 9.2. I'm going to give him a 9.2, 9.1, 9 9.2 out of 10. I don't want to go too high because the pace is obviously not the greatest and the physicality is also not the greatest, but he is an amazing card. And for only 580k on the market, I'm honestly quite surprised about the price on the market. Like I would have thought he would go for way more, but hey, I will take him at 580k. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, make sure to leave a comment, boys. If for now, peace.